Hi guys, it's Alejandra here and welcome back to my channel. So as you all know, we are experiencing a super like unfortunate and weird above everything like situation right now. I just wanted to kind of make a little video on a challenge just to kind of pass some time and really, you know, just get my mind off of everything going on right now. I've seen a lot of influencers do this already um and my friend joseph as you guys know um on social media as in mess we trust um gave me the idea to do a challenge i have all my beauty blenders right here ready to go all sorts of different shapes and sizes and i definitely feel like this is going to be challenging as for like I stuff I guess but like as for skin I think I could probably do a really good job with just using the beauty blender but I'm kind of a little bit like scared but I mean we're gonna give it our best shot and I'm sure it's gonna look great so. I'm gonna go ahead and prep my skin first and as we all know we want to make sure that we start off with the moisturizer I'm gonna go in with first aid beauties ultra repair cream in the mango scent it smells really really good and it's like super hydrating for this look I really want to just make sure that my skin looks very glowy and like hydrated so next I'm gonna go in with my professional primer as you can tell I use this pretty frequently um, it's pretty much to the end and I like focusing this more so in my problem areas. So wherever I feel like I get more texture or I have more pore issues. So next I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Do You Full Coverage Foundation. And this is actually one of my favorite foundations. Definitely a thicker formula, which I kind of like because then I feel like a little goes a long way. This is definitely something that is gonna be really great for drier skin types. As I was saying in the beginning of the video, I wanted to make sure that I was giving this really natural makeup effect. And I think the best tip that I can give to achieve that is to use less. So less is more. A lot of the times our makeup doesn't last or look as good throughout the day because we have this like layer of makeup sitting on our face. And even if we set it, I feel like it doesn't really set like it as thoroughly as if you had a like thinner layer of makeup so next I'm just gonna do a little bit of spot correcting um, just to give it a little bit more coverage um, because I do have facial hair this is the can't stop won't stop um, full coverage concealer um, this is the shade 10.3 neutral buff See, like where I have a little bit like of sun damage she's a sun beater I'm gonna go in with my Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow palette. And this one is in the shade Light Medium. I think it might be a little bit light for me, but I think it'll give me a little bit more of a subtle contour effect. So I'm just gonna start with like the middle cream dark shade right here. I'm just gonna stamp the darkest shade right underneath my cheekbone I don't want to go too far in towards the front of my face I feel that beauty blenders are definitely really great if you're going in with a lot of cream products just because they tend to blend them out the best and make them the most natural and most seamless um, I definitely feel that if you're looking for a very soft natural look using a beauty blender is gonna be your best bet till just recently I started using brushes to do my face found the importance of using a brush which takes me back to how to get the most natural effect when it comes to doing complexion is using a makeup brush to create that really thin layer of foundation on the face so that when you go to blend it out with the beauty blender half of the work is already done for you and you're not using way too much product which is also in the end gonna save you money because you're not using as much product just kind of doing my chin now I'm gonna go in and contour my nose now but I'm going to use this more squared out smaller one to kind of like line out the edges of my nose. So I'm kind of just stamping it. Oh my god, I think I went a little heavy. This nose is going to be snatched, I believe it. Oh my god. 
try to bring it up as narrow as possible without making my whole nose a few shades darker. <laughs> I think once I go in with my lighter shade, it will balance out. So I'm gonna use the butt of the Beauty Blender. And if you guys are curious as to what brand these Beauty Blenders are, they are from Hank and Henry Beauty. I will go ahead and tag them. Um, super amazing brand. Um, they have really great liquid lipsticks and I definitely recommend these products to everybody to try them. It's a newer brand. It's up and coming. I'm really proud of Henry because I know how hard he's been working on it. I, I don't talk to him as much as maybe in the past. I've seen his like growth and just his persistence. So congratulations to you. And thank you for always supporting me and believing in me as a artist. So I'm using the butt of the blender to just soften out the edges. And then I'm going to go in with my lighter shade right now. These are Real Technique Beauty Blender. These are like four or five bucks, but they're really, really great. I really love these. These are super similar to the um, Beauty Blender brand. Um, this teardrop shape is really nice to kind of get into the little crevices of the face. I'm going to go back into the Natasha Denona palette. She's a little messy, just like me. Okay, so I'm just going to go right underneath. Ooh. So that's that for that side. And then I'm going to go here. So I always do under eyes, Cupid's bow, chin. I'll do my nose at the end. And then I'm going to do forehead. So I'm going to go onto my nose now. And I'm just going to tap ever so lightly right on the bridge of the nose. And blending in the sides. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of cream blush. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to set my face first. I'm going to set my face first. So I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills setting powder in Translucent. I honestly feel like this has changed my makeup game for sure. My makeup lasts a lot longer throughout the day. I don't crease as horrible. And if I do, it's like super easy to just like blend it out with like my finger and just kind of melt it back into my skin it's not necessary to set your whole face like i would just make sure that you're focusing on areas that tend to crease the most or tend to get the most shiniest everything else doesn't really need to get set i always start off by setting where i crease the worst so like i'm always smiling because i'm a happy girl so just kind of focusing it there next i'm going to go into my under eye so I'm going to go right under here, open your eyes wide, like if you just saw a big ghost, oh my god, you dirty bitch. Passing it completely out because we can't use brushes. So being at home, it has really made me realize this is a really great time for all of us to sit back and just like reflect on what's really important in life. And I think that one of the main things is family and although... Sometimes I just want to like kill them. I have no other choice but to love them. I'm just kidding. Also, just you start really realizing what you want to really spend your time on because with everything going on, you realize how precious life is. For me, I just really want to focus on things that I love to do and makeup being one of them. But so I'm just going to set my forehead now. Um, we're pretty close to finishing complexion so next i'm gonna go in with a little blush and this has been like my go-to favorite like blush and i've been using it as a lip color which i think i might even just do that um but this is so pretty it's called tang tang it's almost like a creamsicle kind of color but the packaging is like so cute i'm gonna go and just kind of dab this on the apples on my cheeks and the way we figure out where your apples are is you smile so I'm just gonna dab, 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 and I'm just gonna slightly blend it out, radiating up into my cheekbone. Make sure you're starting in the front of the cheek and you're kind of blending it into the bronzer. Just to make sure it's like seamless, you don't know where what starts, where what ends. So going back to the whole pandemic going on right now i think the best thing we can do is just kind of stay calm even though <clears throat> this is definitely like a very scary serious situation but 
we're not gonna get anywhere if we're frantic or like freaking out um so just staying level-headed and clear-minded um staying inside making sure that you're constantly washing your hands like all things that we already know you know um but i think the biggest one is just like staying home and i think a lot of people aren't taking it as serious and um i mean there's not really many places you can go but just like hanging out with friends and stuff like that can be like super risky even if it's one person like i think it's just better and like safer to just stay home i mean everybody has their own prerogative and it's your life but i think that we are being selfish in a way in doing so and i think with the situation at hand it's better to just play it safe. So next I'm going to go in with the same little beauty blender and I'm going to go back into the Natasha Denona palette. I'm going to go in with the glow cream which is right at the end. It's like a really pretty like rosy kind of champagne-y color. I'm just going to dab it on the highest point of my cheek and I already see that working. And I like kind of bringing it a little bit down and towards like where my blush is. Um, next things next is the eyebrows, which I've been trying to avoid this whole time, but let's fucking do it. So I'm actually going to go back in with this little tiny beauty blender and I'm going to use the powder in this Natasha Denona palette. So, um, this is going to give me a really nice soft brow. So I'm going to pinch it a little bit more. So I have a little bit more control and I'm going to focus it on the tail end. Okay, so this isn't my most favorite like eyebrow ever that I've done, but I think it might look a little better once we clean it up. So I'm not going to judge it right now. So next, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer in Hazelnut Beige. It is waterproof and is definitely a more affordable brand. So if you guys want something with a more affordable price point definitely worth a buy um it has really great coverage and kind of reminds me a little bit of the nyx hd concealers they kind of have that same kind of formula um but definitely something worth trying i'm gonna use it to clean up my eyebrows and i'm gonna just kind of stamp it using like the edge of it and let's see how it goes I'm just gonna go on to the next one. I'm gonna try a little bit of a different approach this time. And I'm gonna, I don't know if this would be considered cheating, but I'm gonna use the applicator on here to kind of help me out a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna try to get as much of the product off of the applicator. And I'm just gonna kind of define it first. I mean, I said brushes, okay, not applicators. So I think that's as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna go back to this one. I just realized like this is a really great challenge, especially if you don't really have much or you forget something. You could just do your whole face using a beauty blender. Maybe you don't wanna have to carry so many things. So I think I'm just gonna stop here with that. So next I'm gonna go in with my Smashbox Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio, and this one is holy crap. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just use two of the shades, or actually let's try to use all of them. Let's see if I can do this, I'm gonna challenge myself. So I'm gonna go back in with this really tiny beauty blender with more of the pointier shape, and I'm just gonna dip into the darkest shade and I'm just gonna go for it, cause Bitch is fearless. Oh shit. So I'm kind of just pressing. Tilting your head back as far as possible is going to give you a flatter lid space so that you can really 
see what you're doing and see where you're placing the color. I'll use my Face Beauty Blender and I'm just gonna press that out and see if I can buff that out as much as I can with this huge one. So just like with brushes, I sometimes go in with a smaller brush and to give it more of a softer, more blended effect, I'll go over with a larger brush, either using a transition color or no color at all. So I'm kind of using that same concept but using the beauty blenders which seems like it's doing okay i'm actually gonna place these two shades on with my finger so because this is a no brush challenge i'm gonna use my fingers because i'm gonna cheat again because i'm a cheater I'm just gonna place this really pretty red shade right on my lid on my lydia I'm gonna just blend it in towards the center of my crease. One thing I will do is I'm gonna create a cut crease using the Beauty Blender, so that's where I will go. Ooh, that's, that's really pretty. Wow, I never use this. I have never touched this in my life and I've had it for so long. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back with our Catrice Concealer and our Pyramid Shape Beauty Blender. And this is gonna be really innovative of me. I'm just gonna go ahead and really make sure that I'm covering this Beauty Blender completely with concealer on one side. My nose is a little runny. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like anytime I do my makeup, my nose and my eyes get really watery. Is that just me? What I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna use the corner and really tuck it in to my inner eye and just kind of stamp it and make sure that I'm really pressing lightly, um, lightly enough to where the product is transferring and creating that crisp line that the Beauty Blender kind of can create with the edge. Um, and I'm just gonna start talking and I'm just gonna do it. Bitch. Genius. Hack. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it with my finger. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. You know, that one was a little more janky, but it's probably because it needs some more product on it. Round number two. Okay, I'm just fucking it up now. That was not great. The first one was awesome. This one's just getting ugly. I even got it on my under eye, which is really annoying. Keep trying. Okay, you know what? That's as good as it's gonna get. I'm just gonna dab this one out as well. And you know what? She's not a cut crease anymore. She doesn't feel like it. Going back into the Smashbox Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio, um, I'm gonna grab the lightest shade and I'm using my ring finger in hopes that I get married soon. <sighs> so just tapping this into the inner corner I'm gonna use it like as an inner highlight, inner corner highlight glow, you know. And then I'm gonna go back in and go with that red shade once again and just kind of transition it into the lighter shade. And then last but not least, we're gonna go back in with our darkest shade and just apply it with the Beauty Blender just to kind of define our crease once more. So that pretty much is the look. I went ahead and used NARS Climax Mascara. It definitely is really great if you feel like you have really fine eyelashes. Um, I know I do. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do my lips really quick and then I'll go ahead and apply my lashes off camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and use NYX Cosmetics Lip Liner in brown. When I line my lips, I like doing like a little smile. I see. And before I actually apply, I'm gonna go ahead and place a little tiny drop of Tarte's Maracuja Oil right on my lips to kind of help add a little bit of hydration. Just so when I apply the lip liner, it kind of glides on a little nicer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the little awkward smile. And I like starting in the center and then working my way out, kind of defining the cupid's bow first. My mouth already is pretty wide. I think that balancing it out is gonna give you the most flattering effect. So instead of me widening out my lips more, I'm gonna make them look a little plumper and more full towards the um, center. So 
So I went ahead and lined my lips and I'm gonna go in with a smaller beauty blender again and then our cheek color that we used um, and I'm just gonna place that on the butt end of the beauty blender and I'm really gonna saturate it this time because I wanna get as much color out of it. I almost just wanna do that. So that pretty much concludes the lip. Uh, I'm gonna use the rest of this and add a little more color to my cheeks. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes. I'm gonna use INV lashes in their 3D collection. If you guys follow me on social media, you guys know that this is like my go-to lash. Um, this is in the style 111. And you could just see how <coughs> magical that is, you know. I think this video is really great because it goes to show that you can create pretty much a full face look using minimal to no brushes. Um, this is really great for somebody who maybe forgot their brushes. This is a really great challenge that I would really love to see everybody try because I think that it is definitely something that tests your creativity and your innovation. And so this pretty much concludes the video, but before I completely like peace out, a uh, more serious note, I hope that everybody is doing great and finds themselves safe at home. Um, please take care of your guys' selves, drink a lot of tea. Um, I've heard that um, chamomile and green tea is really great to help your immune system. So making sure that you're drinking plenty of tea throughout the day and just really taking care of yourself and taking extra precautions, not just for yourself, but for everybody around you. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button so that you guys are notified anytime I come out with a new video. This is something that I haven't done in a while and I kind of want to get back into it. Especially being that I'm coming up on my three years on hormones so I might give you guys a update on how I'm doing with all of that um, definitely make sure to follow me on any other social media platforms um, I do have TikTok and Instagram which I will go ahead and write them in the description box um, but thank you guys so much for watching again stay safe